how can we solve 9 minus 5? I could look at my fact family and turn it around to 5 plus blank equals 9. You're right, 5 plus 4 does equal 9. So if 5 plus 4 equals 9, then 9 minus 5 must equal 4. Just like yesterday, we are going to be um, subtracting 10s. But instead of adding, today we are subtracting. So I could change 9 to 90 subtract or take away 50 and I look at 9 minus 5 equals 4 but then I have to add my 1's place which is 0 to make it 40. So 90 minus 50 equals 40. Tara has 30 shells. 20 shells are big. The rest are small. How many small shells does she have? It says that we want to find the small shells. So we need to cross out her big shells. So we started with what number? Did we add or subtract? You're right, we took away her 20 big shells. Now 30 minus 20 can look like a big number and look really hard, but if we cover up the zeros and look at 3 minus 2, I can see that 3 minus 2 equals 1. But then I need to add my 1's place in there and add my 0 back in. So I've learned that 30 minus 20 equals 10. My picture also shows this, 30 minus 20 equals 10. Let's do another one. Sammy has 50 shells. What number did we start with? 50. He gives 30 shells to his friend. I'm going to show that by circling 30 of them and crossing them out. I have to show that I cross them out by putting a subtraction sign or a minus sign. And I crossed out 30. I did not cross out 3. That is different than 30. I crossed out 3 10. How many shells does Sammy have now? We can look at the tens place. 5 minus 3 equals what? Or we can check ourselves, mathematicians, by looking at our picture. 50 minus 30 equals 20. It is a lot like we, what we did yesterday, except we are subtracting or taking away instead of adding.